the Balancing Act, we take on the issues that matter to you, from yes. health and parenting to finance, even romance. We absolutely do, but guess what? There's just one thing missing, a healthy dose of testosterone. testosterone. You know, Beth and I have been bugging the producers to get us a go-to guy, you know, somebody who can shed a little light on the workings of the male mind. Isn't that an oxymoron? Ooh, Chris. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's you so at home, funny. you know what I'm talking about. But you know about. what they delivered? <laughs> they did deliver on the request that we had, and we are excited to introduce <laughs> our new co-host. He's a husband, he's a father, he's an adventurer, a brave I mean, adventurer. You know what? Have to he be. has to be an adventurer to uh, deal with all of us here. We'd like to welcome to the show the very courageous Chris Steele. Hello, Chris. Well, I didn't know what I was getting into. It's all in good fun, because we are. We're really thrilled to have you here. And one of the things when I was doing the research uh, on you um, uh, before your arrival is that, God, you really are an adventurer. I mean, you really like to, to do things that maybe the, the average person wouldn't think about doing. And so what you did was you piled the family in an RV, <laughs> you quit your job, and you're like, listen, I'm going to travel across the country. Yeah, it, it, crazy, a lot of people would say. But, you know, you'd be surprised at how many people we've spoken to that it's normally either the husband or the wife that says, I've always wanted to do that, but typically it's not both. My wife happens to be crazy enough to say, let's do it. And so we did. We sold our home, and, and we traveled for a year. And, you know, for a guy, it's you don't really care. I mean, you're, you don't care. You shower. You got a small shower. You shower outside. Who cares? <laughs> but she was adventurous <laughs> enough. She, she did it. And we have two boys. Fortunately, if we had daughters, it may have been different. Yeah, absolutely. But it was looking back you know at the pictures it was the best one of the best times of our lives and we're actually thinking about doing it again oh again so maybe we can take it on the road yeah that would be a lot of fun i have to ask though you know I, I'm a wife. I can't imagine spending an entire year just in the close quarters. You know, a whole year you can't get away from each other. No, but sure you can. It, you know, we, we we would go. We would go to a certain town. We'd set up, and then we we pull the car. So we had a car there, and you could always go off and do your own thing, mm -hmm, or she would go mm -hmm, off with the mm -hmm. boys and do something, and Aww. I would stay back. As you can imagine, we are all a lot closer as a result of it. And you have to figure out how to balance it. Like yeah, you have to Absolutely. figure out how to balance it. Now, here's the thing, though, because your boys are of, sc of school age, right? Mm -hmm. They're 11 and 11 and 13. 11 and 13. 14, sorry. And so what did you do about education when well, you were on the road? We started, I would say we started homeschooling. That means my wife did it, mm -hmm. and I'm one of her students, <laughs> right. uh, several years ago because we just, we traveled a lot. And so what was great was they got their education on the road. We had oh, nice. all the, almost all of the national parks, some of the most uh, beautiful spots in the country. And right. one of the most memorable times we were at the Grand Canyon. And I remember it was one of our first stops as we went out west, and we were watching the, um, uh, condors fly overhead and they were taking the rangers were giving a class and they're sitting there you know and I'm thinking this they're in the classroom and they're this learning the about classroom. condors as they're flying over their head in the Grand Canyon mm -hmm. I mean it really it doesn't get much better than that cool yeah. right now here's the question we have been dying yes, to get to now here on the show of course it's called the balancing mm -hmm. act and we talk a lot about we as women feel like we take on a lot of responsibility we're trying to balance our husbands it's our funny, children we our as lives men feel like that too oh no you don't <laughs> well, there goes. Listen, that's the listen, question that's you take off the earrings I'm I'm so glad You're you like, brought okay. this up. <laughs> Let me take off the high heel, actually. Exactly. <laughs> How do you feel about, A, the balancing act that your wife is is sure. is doing in her life, but how do you feel like, how do you feel that you fit into that balancing act? You know, it's marriage and family, it's, it's you figure out whose roles, you know, you should fill and, and, and where your strengths are, and then at the end of the day, husbands do what they're told. No. I, I always <laughs> yeah, say yeah, I hate we that. Love him already. Yeah, no, we but, like it, but you really do. You figure out what works for you, and, and I know that we're going to get into a lot of topics, one of them being, you know, marriage and issues that come up, and, and uh, you work you work through it. It's, it's fun, you know. Yes, I look yeah. at marriage as one of those things like it's a beautiful destination, and a lot of times there's a bumpy road to get there. You know? right. so. Absolutely. But it's all part of the fun, right? It is. It is. Yeah, yeah, if you're not having fun, an adventure. which I know you guys do, so we I'm do, happy to be part do. of We do, we do. Well, listen, can I just throw in my cards? Yeah. <laughs> because this next question is not on a cue card. Okay. <laughs> what gets on your wife's nerves? Uh, you know what? She is very, um, she loves to go. Yeah. She wants to, she's constantly on the go. And my 11-year-old and I are more, you know, we like to be home some. So uh, I, I'm not always up for on the go. So that's probably one of the things that drives her nuts. She doesn't understand why, why don't you want to go? And I'm like, I'm good with going, but sometimes I just want to chill out and do nothing. Right, so right. Uh, that's one of the things, that and the fact that I have no rhythm. We've been taking dance classes, oh, and, and, Lord, and it drives Chris. her nuts because I've got no rhythm at all. I need and to introduce so. you to my husband because he also has no rhythm. Y'all can stand there. You and just the... come to me, 
listen, listen, I can do a little something. I told something. you it's about knowing your strength. Right. Right. Well, there you go. And playing on those. Well, one thing I want to ask you about, because, uh, you know, if people who watch the show know a little bit about me, I have a political background and um, am very fascinated by your right. background as well. You got into television because of a career in politics. You, were, you ran campaigns. I did. I started working on campaigns. I grew up in it. My dad was in politics. And when I got out of college, I had an opportunity to run a campaign. And then, you know, I started running state campaigns and then ended up working on a national race, which I mentioned that's how I met my wife. So yeah. it, was, it was a good experience. It, it's one of those things I think almost everybody should do at yes. some point, regardless of what your views are, because you get to see a process that most people don't get to see. Right. So right. It's, it's, it's a good one. I, I think that is fascinating. And, you know, you, you are, you know, meeting me and you're meeting Beth. And I understand that you also met our other co-host, Christy. I did. I'm just glad she's not here because I couldn't okay. handle all three of you at once. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Christy. Yes, I have She's had a lot of energy, a right? Of energy. Right, yeah. right. A bundle of energy. And all three of us together, wow. No. Well, that would be very sad for you, actually, because <laughs> would. you wouldn't get a word in. <laughs> Do you think you're ready for us? You know, I am, I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready to walk off right you know now. What? I had four brothers. I didn't have any sisters. Right. So I feel like this is going to be kind of my opportunity to uh, beat up on younger sisters. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, we can't wait to get more of your perspective as we go through fun. the show. You're gonna get the it. months ahead fun. are going to be a lot of fun. All right. Speaking of a bumpy road, we're right. going to bump your road right <laughs> <I'm> up. <ready. laughs> I got my seatbelt on. Yes, we're serious, too. <laughs> All right, Chris, thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. And again, we want to let you know that Chris will be joining us frequently here on the show with insights on everything from technology to relationships. And if you'd like to see more of Chris, please let us know at thebalancingact.com. Yay. We'll do a little help.